Hey guys, I just received our NOA1 letter on March 2, 2023. And in this video, we're going to talk about the timeline from sending your I-129F packet to receiving your NOA1 letter. February 15, 2023, I submitted my I-129F packet through the Postal Office Priority Mail and using the tracking number provided by USPS, I found out that the packet arrived three days later at the facility. And since I used my credit card to pay for the application fee of $535, I actually received a notification from the bank earlier. But before you do that, don't forget that you need you need you need to fill up in the G1450 form it's a credit authorization form something like that um, in order to pay using your credit card which I did um, you should really you really need the form um, but if you're paying a uh, check or money order that's fine you could just do that but then again you won't get the early notification that I got and you're missing out on the points um, by using the credit card, I was able to earn 1.5% on the $535 um, fee. Anyways, on February 22, 2023, um, my bank um, sent me a notification of the transaction. It basically said uh, a transaction has been made by the USS blah 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 of $535, this and that. And it basically meant that the USIS has received my package and took the payment. Now, this is not the USIS that's sending me a notification. It is the bank, but it is basically stating that the USCIS has received your application, has taken your payment, and you are starting the process, basically. And the very next day, on February 23, 2023, I received a text from the USCIS um, stating that they have received and processed my packet. And before I forget, if you want to receive notifications from the USAS, you actually, this is very important, you actually need to file another form. It's called uh, G1145. It's uh, basically an e-notification letter. And there we go. This part, our favorite part, basically, um, two weeks after sending the I-129F packet, I received a physical copy of the NOA-1 letter from the USCIS. Right here. Ah, very important. Do not forget. Do not ever forget. But the G-1145 and the G-1450, they need to be on top of your I-129F packet. They need to be the first two pages on your I want an NF packet. So, the next step for me and my fiance is to wait for the NOA2 letter, which right now, based on the timeline provided by the USIS, will be 12 to 15 month wait, um, which is getting faster as the month passes by. But, you know, I, I really am hoping for the best, but I'm also preparing for the worst. It could take longer than that. and But if it comes sooner, that's fine. Great, perfect. But if it comes later, I won't be as hurt as much, you know, because I already expected it. So yeah, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. But don't worry, the process is getting shorter um, uh, month by month. And the USCIS is hoping to process K-1 visas um, in uh, six to eight months by October of 2023. So well, that's a big jump, right? That's like half the time. Um, but we will see and right now they're currently working on the January 2022 applicants but like I said they're getting faster month by month anyways I have to go to the gym I've been I've been in the car for almost 30 minutes I actually have a um, what you call that a script because I'm new to this YouTube thing anyways I completely forgot I should have introduced my name first I just went straight to it but hey my name is Clifford, very nice to meet you, and this is my fiancé, soon-to-be wife, Jan May. 
thank you for watching i i hope everything goes well for you guys and i hope that everything goes well for ours too you know i'm very sorry for not introducing myself first but better late than never <laughs>